beautiful day today. The weather is so perfect. The leaves are changing. It's perfect sort of weather. I just love this weather when it's like low 70s. So it's like not too hot, not too cold, but it's just the perfect weather to just wear a sweater. So I'm just here enjoying the view and I'm about to read my book. And also I'm planning to check this new bookstore it's apparently also a cafe, it's five floor, and yeah. So I hope you just join me in this very beautiful fall day here in Boston. I do not have enough clips to make this video long enough so welcome to this section that is the monthly favorites section so I'm gonna share all the things that I love this past month so let's get into it let's start with the beauty stuff I love beauty so much so let's start with the lipsticks first is this Fenty lip gloss this gloss is my favorite one to use during the fall and winter it's just it looks so nice it's like 
a little bit grungy because it's like in a brown and it feels so good on the lips so this is the um, Fenty cream gloss um let me see it's not it's the gloss bomb cream in the shade cookie jar and this shade is just perfect for this time of year i love it it feels so good i feel like fenty beauty makes the most beautiful glosses ever rihanna rihanna cannot fail <laughs> i feel like everything she does is so good and this gloss is one of them the next lipstick is from this brand it is called sai saye I don't know how you're supposed to say the name of this brand. Sai, Sai, I don't know. English is not my first language. So when I see names like these, I'm just oblivious how am I supposed to pronounce it. But this lipstick is so pretty. It reminds me of the one from Glossier. But these are more creamy and more pigmented. So I like this more so yes so this is the lip blur in the shade dada i don't know i feel like a lot of makeup products they give them some weird funny names <laughs> and dada i don't know it just sounds very funny to me and this is like a terracotta kind of color i don't know i just love these kind of shades and it's the lipstick that i'm wearing right now it looks a little bit more reddish on me, but yeah, I love it. Their Dew Blush is so good. It, I love the applicator. I love how it looks. I love everything about this blush. It's so creamy and it looks so natural. And this is in the shade Spicy. And I feel like it pairs very well with the lipstick that I'm wearing because like they're kind of similar. So yeah, this is another thing I've been loving. And I want to get more of their product because so far I've been in love with everything that I have tried from them. And I think that's everything about the beauty aspect of this monthly favorite section. Another thing that I love is fashion. And I've been loving this. This corset. This is... I don't know it's kind of like a corset but it's more kind of like a one that is more wearable during the winter months because it's like thicker and i like this very much i love the colors and the print and this is from express i like this corset i like it. it's comfortable feels nice uh, i can breathe so that's one of the things that i look into a corset that is cute um feels nice and it can let me breathe so this one it's a winner <laughs> so let's continue with the games i like to play games every so often because it helps me to disconnect it helps me to go to a happy place and one of the games that helps me to disconnect from this very chaotic and stressful and dark world that we live in is spirit fair spirit fair i think that's how you're supposed to say it spirit fair I don't know some words they're just so hard to pronounce for me so spit it fair is this indie chill aesthetic game that reminds me a little bit of animal crossing because you have to farm you gotta talk with the npcs you go to different places to look for resources it gives me a little bit that studio ghibli feel because there's this story and there's very nice themes about friendship so basically you have a ship and you look for spirits and you help them to move on so in the ship you like um help them to do their last wishes i mean you help them accomplish the last wishes so they can move on have a good time with you and at the end of the game you just give them a last hug so it's a game that teaches you how to say goodbye to your dear, dear ones when they die and each one of the characters npcs of this game they have interesting stories and they all connect to the main character that is stella so it's very interesting it's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye to play and the music the aesthetic the colors it makes it so enjoyable so spirit fairer is a nice cozy game and i feel like for this time of year it's just the perfect game to play so about the shows that i've been watching 
I have not watched like shows, normal shows. I've just been watching anime. <laughs> and this season, the anime that we're getting so far is so good. So um, season six or My Hero Academia. So far, it's pretty good and I've been loving it a lot. So I've been watching that. I've been watching Chainsaw Man. That anime, it's the perfect anime adaptation so far from the manga. I have not, I am not up to date with the manga. I just read like some chapters here and there. But the animation is so beautiful. The voice actors are so perfect. They fit so well to the characters. And it's pretty funny, ridiculous, ridiculous. And it's pretty good anime so far. I like it. I like it a lot. It reminds me some aspects to Jujutsu Kaisen. There's some similarities between them. So, I don't know. I feel like on Chainsaw Man, it's a hard anime to dislike. Because, you know, it has the elements of every shonen that we've seen so far. But uh, the execution is amazing. It makes it so hard to not watch. The next anime that I've been loving so much and I was missing an anime like this is this isekai anime that is called I'm the Villainous so I'm taming the final boss. It's a silly um, romance kind of anime and I've been missing this type of stories. They're so lighthearted and it's just about romance and cute characters and it feels like it's more for the female audience. So there's not that obnoxious amount of fan, fan, um, fan service. Oh, there's not any fan service in this anime. Just a lot of cute boys, um, fantasy-esque storyline, and it's very enjoyable to watch. And that's all the anime that I've been watching so far. And I know I have not explained what each anime is about. But hopefully by the end of the fall season, I will make an, uh, another video talking about the animes that I watch. Because like there's so many that I want to watch because like this season is packed with so many, so many different titles getting adaptations. So that will be for another video. So I hope you guys enjoy this format of like blogging and uh, monthly favorites let me know if you like this format and i think i enjoyed it because it was kind of fun to film and you know so probably i will keep doing this for each month so let me know your thoughts do you like this video what are you watching during this fall season or any game recommendations because i love cozy aesthetically pleasing games so if you have any recs leave them down below I hope you guys have a lovely, fantastical day, and I hope you are safe wherever you are, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!